Welcome to the EBSCO ERIC Thesaurus tutorial. Using the thesaurus is a good way to start your search to ensure that you find the best search terms for the concepts you are researching. Thesaurus terms describe the main subject or subjects of an article. Let's look at the thesaurus. We'll enter our terms portfolio assessment in the browse box. We click on the portfolio assessment title. This shows portfolio assessment next to a scope note that tells how the ERIC thesaurus defines portfolio assessment. It also displays it in the context of its broader terms and narrower terms, plus a list of related terms. To search portfolio assessment, we select the checkbox. If we're searching more than one thesaurus term at a time, we can choose to combine them with AND, OR, or NOT. Here we're searching only one term, so we just click the ADD button. The search box now shows we are searching for the subject heading Portfolio Assessment. Our first search retrieves a large number of results. We return to the thesaurus to add another search term. We enter our second set of browse terms, Formative Evaluation. We select the Formative Evaluation link to see the term in the context of broader and narrower terms. We select the checkbox to add formative evaluation to our search. We're searching only one term, so we just click the Add button. After we've done our second search, we select the Search History Alerts link. We want to combine our two searches, so we select the checkbox next to our first search. Because our second search term is still in the search box, we don't need to select it from our search history. We are looking for articles that have both of our search terms, so we click the Search with AND button. The search for both terms gives us 35 hits. To view the results, we toggle shut the Search History Alerts display. To refine our results to articles suitable for an academic paper, we select the Peer Reviewed checkbox and click the Update Results button to apply the changes. If we want to limit our results to more recent articles, we can use the Date slider. This gives us 11 hits. Note that it displays our search terms and a reminder that we have options set. We can now examine our results to see if they are suitable for our research project. We can easily go back and revise or recombine our searches by clicking on Search History Alerts. This ends the ERIC Thesaurus Search Tutorial. For more tutorials, return to the previous screen.